So, hello everybody. Well, it's the second week in February now, and continuing on with our movie theme, uh, so we do with a very famous movie with Albert Finney. It's called Under the Volcano, and it's based on this book by Malcolm Lowry. Just for your own information, this book is generally considered one of the finest books ever written in English in the 20th century. So Malcolm Lowry did a good job, and I like it too, because there's a BC link to it. Malcolm Lowry, when he sobered up, came up to British Columbia and actually squatted in a place uh, in Deep Cove. And in fact, apparently there are some stores and shops that are actually called Under the Volcano in Deep Cove still. Anyway, Lowry was quite famous, and so he wrote this novel while in British Columbia, so that's pretty good. Anyway, it's such a good novel, they made a movie out of it. And the movie is about one day in the life of this British uh, consul officer in Mexico. And it's set in 1939, and that's important because, of course, it's the brink of the Second World War. And this guy, uh, this British consul officer, it's almost like he's escaped to Mexico to get away from the insanity that was starting to take hold of, in Europe and even in North America. And yet he can't move away because his own life is crazy too. So it's like the whole world's going crazy and also he's trying to run away but he's going crazy too because he's drinking all the time. In fact, he spends most of the uh, book here uh, getting drunk and figuring out ways to get drunk even though everyone's telling him not to. But it's an interesting book because, again, I mean, it's the, the whole Viktor Frankl theme, right? This... Uh, He's drinking because his life is, as Narcotics Anonymous would say, meaningless, monotonous, and boring. So he's desperately trying to find a way to make his, to feel alive. And the only way, the only tactic he knows is to get drunk. And so when he's drunk, all of a sudden, oh yeah, the party's on and we're having a good time. If he's not drunk, he's miserable and life just sucks. Anyway, uh, the book is basically about this desperation of this guy to start figuring out how he can live this meaningful life, how he can feel alive and how he can feel comfortable, how he can, you know, find love and find, you know, accomplish something in his life. And it's a very sad book and, well, I won't give away the ending, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's a really a fascinating detailed portrait of this alcoholic who's trying to figure out, you know, what the hell is going on? And I'm wondering too, even for your, uh, the people, uh, our alumni, whether you, you think about your own life. Did you ever go through these feelings like, yeah, what the hell's going on? Like, what is it with me? Why can't, why don't I feel comfortable clean and sober? Like, why do I keep needing the drug? So again, it's a much more thoughtful thing. There's nothing, I mean, there's a medical doctor in the book who explains to the main character, oh yeah, yeah, it's bad to drink, your liver's going to give away and you're going to die an alcoholic death. That, that's about as much science as we get in the whole book. But other than that, it's a talk about, you know, his brother who actually thinks he's crazy, his wife who just can't figure out why he can't stop drinking, and the embarrassment that he's causing himself, because all the locals know he's a drunk, right? And he's supposed to be some official British government agent in uh, Mexico. So there's all these sort of superficial things, but what's going on for the guy himself is this struggle to somehow figure out how can I go on and live a good life, right? So again, a little deeper idea than just having poor coping skills or... Uh, He's got some kind of disease over which he has no power. But again, a very thoughtful analysis of addiction. So at any rate, uh, again, just uh, as we always do, we wrote about it on the actual alumni program on the website and asked you a few questions. And again, if you're interested, give us some answers and send them back. And we'll talk to you next time.